hi guys so today i wanted to share with you how my sister got rid of her fungal acne so if you have small bumps all over your face they are very very tiny and small 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 it may means that you have fungal acne or you have a mixture of fungal acne with a different type of acne so in this video i'm going to share with you a simple routine that you can follow morning and night on how you are going to get rid of your fungal acne this is a routine that my sister follow consistently for three months and started to see great results until today my sister doesn't have fungal acne anymore she's maintaining her skin uh, her skin with a different type of routine but today this video is all about the people that have fungal acne and cannot get rid of them i'm gonna share with you my routine that i share with my sister and other people that i know that suffered from fungal acne and i hope this video is going to be very beneficial for everybody hi guys my name is josephia rizado if it's your first time i make video about self-care skin care i present you with different products new products uh, i talk about uh, skincare routine if it's a type of video that you like to watch subscribe and be part of the family the first thing that i recommend you to do guys is to go and see your dermatologist you need to ask your dermatologist if you really have fungal acne the first the first first thing you need to do is that because if you do not do that i'm not sure that this routine is going to work for you because you really need to be sure that you have fungal acne this is the same step that i did with my sister she went to see a dermatologist just to make sure that the dermatologist uh, just to make sure that she really has fungal acne knowing that is going to be beneficial for you is going to remove your stress and it's also going to help you on how to maintain your skin on how to take care of your skin because you have that illness you have that disease because again fungal acne is a disease guys okay so now let's just jump into the morning routine the first thing you're gonna do in the morning will be to use a cleanser and the cleanser that i recommend is benzoyl peroxide yes i know some people will say no it doesn't work no it doesn't work but huh, guys a lot of people with uh, fungal honey that i recommend benzoyl peroxide to use in to use in the morning it has been working okay it has been working so you either you use a benzoyl peroxide either you use a fungal acne safe cleanser or you can also alternate for instance if monday you use benzoyl peroxide on tuesday use the fungal acne safe cleanser you can alternate both uh, both of them during the week and you are also good to go or you can decide to use benzoyl uh, peroxide for for a certain period of time at the beginning of your journey maybe for two months or one month and then you transit uh, when you see your uh, your acne going down you see your, you see like a, a amelioration with your condition you can then slow down with benzoyl peroxide and introduce a fungal acne safe cleanser one thing i forgot to mention is that with fungal acne you will need to use specific products okay you will need to use certain products that do not have certain ingredients because most of the time fungal acne is triggered or it's not gonna it's triggered because of certain ingredient there are certain products that are going to trigger your fungal acne there are certain products that are going to enhance and make your fungal acne worse so one of the best thing to do with fungal acne is to choose the right products that's why you always need to choose fungal acne safe products always if you want to buy any product a cleanser a moisturizer a treatment you need to be sure that that product doesn't contain any type of ingredient that may worsen your condition so after cleanser you will need to use a toner but i would say a toner is very optional okay but use a toner if you want to if you like to use toner just make sure that the toner is fungal acne safe after your toner you will need to use a treatment okay to 
to to kill those those fungus okay to kill those bacteria and everything on your skin you will need to use a treatment and one of the treatment that i love to use and i know my sister also love it is as a like acid you will need to get you as like acid 15 percent or 20 percent i think 10 percent is very low is is i mean it's very low especially if you have a worse fungal acne but if your fungal acne is not really worse it's just at the beginning okay you can use a 10 percent but if you have a fungal acne that is al already worse and it's very worse it's, it's very difficult to get rid of it take 15 percent fungal acne i'm sorry take 15% azelaic acid or 20% azelaic acid. After azelaic acid, I would say your best product now would be a moisturizer. Now you need to have a moisturizer safe. You need to, to have a fungal acne safe moisturizer. Yes, because that's, that moisturizer need to not contain certain ingredients like fatty acid, like oils, all those ingredients that may trigger your your uh, your, your condition or uh, avoid like moisturizer that contain polysorbate 20 i mean there are certain ingredients that shouldn't that shouldn't be in your moisturizer okay and the one i'm going to introduce you guys today is from the brand la theory la theory made pretty much great uh products for fungal acne safe so i would like to thank again la theory brand for sponsoring this video they make product for fungal acne people and for people with acne prone and sensitive skin their products are pick and choose by dermatologists this moisturizer specifically from la theory is a hydrating product okay it's very lightweight it's non-sticky it contains panthenol and squalene which are great for hydration dry skin and do skin and it's very effective for an, an ideal for sensitive skin another thing that i like about this moisturizer is that it's able to smooth irritated skin especially when you have breakout from acne and also if you have a damaged skin barrier this moisturizer is a good one also to use to repair your damaged skin so the link to get this awesome moisturizer la theory can be found in the description below of this video after moisturizing your face you will need a sunscreen sunscreen is best for everybody because sunscreen not only protect our face Face. it also help us not have hyperpigmentation it's also like a prevention but also at the same time if sometimes a protection but again with sunscreen you will need to use a sunscreen safe a fungal acne sunscreen safe that is very beneficial because if you do all those things you have the right cleanser you have the right treatment you have the right moisturizer but you have the wrong sunscreen you back at zero okay you back at zero it doesn't matter what you did before you back at zero so all the products you will need to apply on your face they all need to be fungal acne safe always make sure of that i'm gonna repeat fungal acne safe in 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 all this video okay during this video you're gonna be fed up with it okay because i want to get it inside your mind i want you to remember that if, when you buy products it has to be the fungal acne safe okay now let's go to the nice skincare routine guys i'm gonna tell you to grab a pencil and a, a pencil and your book you need to write the morning skincare routine and the night skincare routine you need to write them down so you are not gonna forget the the morning skincare routine was a little bit easier okay it's a little bit easier to remember and to guide but the nighttime routine is a little bit complicated because most of the treatment are really going to be done during the night okay most of the bulk of the treatment is going to be done at night time and you need to respect that routine to the key okay to the key okay so your cleanser at night it needs to be 
a gentle cleanser and that cleanser need to be fungal acne safe period do not use benzoyl peroxide at night it's a no 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 don't use that at night okay please i repeat do not use benzoyl peroxide at night i know i repeat that because i know some of you guys are going to tell me later on Oh, Josie, I don't know what's going on. I have been using benzoyl peroxide at night on my fungal acne and it's getting worse. I don't understand. My face has this, my face has that. I know because I, I have been making those videos and I know sometimes people do not really pay attention, okay? Benzoyl peroxide only in the morning, my people, and at night use a gentle cleanser. Fungal acne safe cleanser, please. Now, after your cleanser is gonna be the treatment part, okay? here we are going to treat those fungus okay we are going to do the treatment the first product that i'm going to ask you to use is adapalene adapalene use it three times per week adapalene okay three times per week only maybe on monday okay oh okay no yes let's say on monday or wednesday or friday or if you want to use it monday tuesday wednesday it, 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 it really it, it really ups you guys but i would say use it on monday wednesday and friday try to uh, give a little bit of rest from your from your face okay so the days where you do not use adapalene you are going to use two times per day sulfur you are going to use this sulfur two times per week okay this sulfur is going to be used as a mask after you clean your face you need to take to take that sulfur apply use a thin layer please don't use it as like a mask like it's going to be no no no, no. use a thin layer and apply all over your face let it sit for 10 minutes of 15 minutes at a time okay if you feel like it's a little bit burning and, and you can you can stay for 10 minutes is good if after five minutes it's really uncomfortable it's really irritated go ahead go ahead and rinse it out but the but i would say 10 minutes is good okay if you if you, if you can go to 15 minutes depending of your t of your tolerance go ahead and jump to 15 minutes but you only do that treatment two times per week two times per week only guys don't do more than that okay okay now once per week you are going to use a benzoyl peroxide cream there are different types of benzoyl peroxide there are 10 percent 4 percent 2.5 percent 5 percent i mean whatever okay for me what i recommend is that if you are a beginner really try to use 2.5 percent at the beginning but if you feel like your fungal acne is very worse okay it's a lot okay start with 10 percent okay because you're only going to use that once per week so choose one of one of them according to your tolerance according to your sensitivity if you know that you have a very sensitive skin i would suggest you to start with 2.5 percent or four or four percent and i'm talking about the cream okay not the cleanser the cream okay go, go ahead and apply this once per week only and it has to be applied the day that you don't use adapalene it has to be applied on the day that you don't use the sulfur never use all those all those treatments all together don't do that don't do that and once per week you are going to have a rest this is the day where you do not use any treatment at all no treatment at all no 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 treatment at all you need to let your face rest Okay. so after applying the treatment on your face you need to apply again a moisturizer that moisturizer needs to be again what, what am i going to say fungal acne safe 
it has to be applied just apply a thin layer of your moisturizer all over your face and your neck okay because you need that moisture okay because those 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 treatments are very very drying okay they are very drying so you need to re replenish your skin using a moisturizer after your moisturizer go ahead go to bed okay i would say always do your routine two hours before you go to bed okay two hours before you go to bed so those treatment can stay on your face so your face can suck up those treatment before you go to bed if you do those treatment right before you go to bed your your mattress your sheet are going to take all those all those products so it's not it's, it's not going to be really effective okay now let's talk a little bit more deeper about the day where you do not use any treatment at all and it's only going to be done once per week on that day you only need to wash your face with a <laughs> with the fungal acne safe cleanser okay after that you take your fungal acne safe moisturizer and that's it you apply your, your moisturizer all over your face and that's it this is the day where your face needs to be rested your face needs to replenish your face needs to <sighs> okay wusha because there is a lot of treatment that you have been doing during the week is a lot of treatment that you have been doing all over so your face needs a little bit of rest okay you see guys fungal acne is really all about the product that you chose it's all about the your skincare routine it's very simple i know it can be a little bit complicated because it's a different type of acne i understand that but it has to be if you want to be successful in your fung fungal acne uh, routine you need to choose the best product and all the product you need to apply on your face they need to be fungal acne safe for instance avoid using product that contain oils avoid using product that contain fatty acid for instance avoid using product that contains certain type of chemical ingredient although those ingredients can be great for other people but for the fungal acne they are a big mistake because those bacteria those fungus they feed from those ingredients that's why the condition worsen or and worsen you don't understand what's going on even after applying all those treatment you still have them it's because it feeds from those ingredients so the, my best bet the best bet is to always choose fungal acne safe product